The Ontario Model Soldier Society is a club for toy soldier and model figure collectors. The club meets monthly, one Sunday per month between September and May. The meeting dates can be found on the club's website. With the exception of the November and December monthly meeting, the format for the meetings are the same. Doors open at 11 a.m. and the official program begins at 12.30 p.m. The November monthly meeting is the club's annual auction. The December monthly meeting is the club's Christmas luncheon and awards ceremony. I passed the police check. Hey, Gary. I'm police services. I'm From now on, I'm good to go, right? <laughs> Oh, Steve, I see you got a helper today. You got a helper. <laughs> Hi, how are you? So Jeff, the club table is it is it for club members? Like if I was a non-member, would I be able to buy anything at the club table? Uh, if you're a non-member? Yeah. No, this one the personal member. Right. Yeah. 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 So these are uh, all the materials that are needed by your members. Right. Proceeds from the storage running. Running our shows, paying our monthly. Yeah. Proceeds going for us and they're not giving them. We don't give things away. Right. So people that donate it don't feel like right. Oh, why bother donating? Right. Undervalued. But we also make it that as a perk of membership. That's yeah. Really it's a good avenue for people. They don't want to donate their things elsewhere. They want to go back to people that are like mine. Yeah. And then the the club table, you participate in the, the Zoom meetings so that people who attend the Zoom meetings can yes. purchase. So that's a new thing we just started in the last few months, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we felt some things via Zoom, and that's actually been fairly successful. And it also gives the members that aren't in the immediate GTA area right. an opportunity. Because sometimes I try to sell the things there first. Yep. First, uh, first, uh, first look at uh, materials. Yeah, I guess. And if you're buying it, and if you're a member, generally if you're in Ontario, here, uh, we can get the materials to you with no shipping charges. Right? So we use our uh, underground and railway, as we call it. And uh, if you can get things from Toronto to Ottawa or from Chatham or Windsor. A thousand. So okay. there, there's a fine tip. So I, no water yet. Dip it in. Spin it so that you have a yeah, fine point. Exactly. There. So there's that. And then, so there are two ways. Is it's flat on the table.
better you run out of game. Yeah. yeah. Thank the Society for inviting me to be here today. Um, I have been a member for the neighborhood of 20 years. Um, I've been to the annual show in June many, many times, but being here today fulfills the goal of going to a regular, regular monthly meeting for me. That was important to me, so take that off the list. Um, I, I really want to thank Scott for helping with me with my photos today. Uh, between the two of us, hopefully we won't mess things up too much. First of all, uh, the reason, if you think about it, why is Canada involved in Afghanistan? Like, makes absolutely no sense. Well, when the, the attack on the World Trade Center happened, the Americans had the blood up and Osama bin Laden was in Afghanistan and that's a tale I'll, I'll just touch on briefly. And uh, we, as part of NATO, the Americans said, you know, NATO should intervene and send troops to support us. And we were part of NATO. That's how we ended up in Afghanistan. Osama bin Laden and the uh, Mujahideen were creations of the CIA. You, people are aware of that, all right? So, uh, and why were they there? Well, they were there to get rid of the Soviets and they were very successful. And then suddenly, well, they withdrew all the support, i.e. money, arms, etc. We don't need you anymore, you, the, the Soviets have withdrawn. And Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda, whatever, that morphed into Al-Qaeda, they were still in Afghanistan. Uh, I presume it's out of resin, and it's the gates of Edinburgh, which inspired me right away to whip out to the wood shop and start to create something of my own, my own version which I often do. I often look through magazines and see things in our hobby that I think would be interesting to tackle, not necessarily to great detail, but to actually take upon myself as a challenge and see if I can do something similar. So it's not complete, but I started this yesterday, my version of the gates. It could be the gates of Edinburgh, it could be any gates, you know, and then I bought some figures just marching through the gates. You have to when I heard that we were doing royalty, I brought a little piece of my collection. I don't collect soldiers per se, but I am a member of the club and I do collect uh, royal items. I have everything from tea towels, tea cozies. I have a 1938 tablecloth from uh, George the Sixth, or yeah, George the Sixth and Queen Elizabeth's his first visit to Canada. Um, and I was lucky enough at a, a meeting of my IODE chapter to win Queen Elizabeth and one of her corgis. It's in the Funko Pop, which are very collectible right now. There was a visitor earlier on, uh, Cindy Gaston, who was uh, John Brown's daughter. Hmm. And she actually gave a donation of a three volume set to the club. Um, and uh, it's basically the history of military British, uh, British military bands. And it's sort of, a, a, it was a three uh, volume set uh, from the mid uh, 90s. Uh, this will be a donation to the club. I'll, I'll pass it on to Jeff. Um, basically, uh, we'll figure out um, sort of how to uh, sell it and, and what should sort of be the, the price in that. But, Really, um, it, it is sort of like, uh, you know, the, it's sort of the, the last donation from uh, on behalf of uh, Jim Brown and his family. And uh, basically, I think that this should be acknowledged uh, by the club members. So. So, uh, anybody else in the show and tell segment of speaking? Uh, okay, uh, so as we start to wrap up. So, uh, okay. 
Leaf wire with guns. Who would have thought? Okay, we have um, this, is a, this is a vintage kit here. It's uh, lot number 45. Air fix, air fix French Curacier plastic kit. Made from the 60s, but it's been re released. This is a lot of fun. If you have not built one of these, they, they built up to a great kit, but it's, it's, uh, and it's still plastic. There is uh, there's no reserve bid on here. Can we start with $5? Can we start with $5? You can't buy that in a hobby store for that. You want 20 Who'll give me 25 Or who'll give me 5 Who'll give me $5 for that? I have $5. Uh, uh, can I have 10 Can I have 10 They want $20 for this retail. Can I have $10 for this? Can I have $10 for this? You will not be so raised a lot of fun. Who'll give me $10? Who'll give me $10? I have 5 What's the number of the lots? Sorry? What lot number is it? It's lot number 45. As I said before, uh, I have five dollars. Five dollars. Any improvement earned five. Any improvement earned five. 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 Going once. One twice. One thrice. Five sold for five dollars to lot number ten. So the last thing I'd like to do before we go back and eat more dessert, drink more coffee or beer, is uh, call Andy up. If you would, Andy Travers, come on up. So as uh, as you're all aware, or most of you are aware, we had our AGM last month, and uh, Andy was elected president for January 1st, uh, effective 2024. So I'll, part of the uh, Ceremony. This is the ceremonial gavel the president has. It's a cookery that was presented to the club. Uh, so I'd like to present Andy the cookery to uh, yes, assume sir. command of the, uh, the OMSS. Yeah. So you know, you're going to pass it on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't keep it, you can't sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it thank you. Yeah. Yes, and the case is underneath. Okay, wonderful. God, that's huge. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. I look yeah. forward to being president. It's a good society. It always has been good, and I feel that we can carry on and uh, thrive and hopefully get more members to join and uh, go from there. So thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Andy.